Hi, I'm Kenneth Amos, and I'm a tuba player. Today I'd like to share with you a breathing exercise that has been very beneficial to me. It's beneficial for four main reasons. One, it helps stretch out the muscles that wrap around my rib cage. This allows me to take a deeper breath with much more comfort than I otherwise would. Two, it prevents my body from reacting to nerves as much as it normally would. It relaxes me. Three, it helps me to pace my breathing, both the inhale and the exhale, which is extremely important for any wind player or vocalist. And four, it inspires me to continue these exercises because I can immediately see the results that are positive and allow my playing to improve on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's simple. You breathe in for eight seconds, you hold your breath for 24 seconds, and then you breathe out for eight seconds. If you're doing this for the first time, you should probably sit down. This exercise should not be done while you're driving or operating heavy equipment or any dangerous equipment. So let's start and I'll keep track of the time. You ready? Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now hold your breath. And I'll talk while you're holding your breath. You're probably feeling a bit tight from having taken in such a deep breath. That's all right, just let your shoulders relax, let your chest relax on top of that air column that's in your lungs and get ready for a long exhale of eight seconds, okay? And I want you to exhale now. Two, three, four, five, keep blowing out, six, seven, eight, and relax. Now that took 40 seconds. We'll break for 20 seconds or so, round it off to a nice minute. And the breath you took after that exercise was probably the deepest breath you've taken all day. It gets easier if you do it in repetition. So we're going to do it one more time. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. I'll keep track of the time. If you're still feeling tight, you can just roll your head around your shoulders to loosen up. And again, prepare for that long exhale. It's about two bars if you're thinking quarter note equals 60 and 4-4 time. Get ready for the exhale, and it's coming up now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And relax and take that deep, refreshing breath. This kind of exercise you can do early in the day, and the effects will last all day. You'll feel stretched out all day, so it's great. You can do it in the shower or while you're preparing uh, your lunch. And we'll do it one more time now, just so that you can see the results. Ready? Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hold. And this time will probably be the easiest for you. Uh, and this is only taking three minutes uh, that we're doing this exercise. And as I said, you can do it at any time during the day, ideally before you practice your instrument or you practice singing. So we're at 21, 22, 23, 24, and exhale for the full eight seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you should feel much more refreshed. Your body should feel calm. You may even yawn a little bit, and that, that's fine. And if that feeling isn't enough to inspire you, you can actually get uh, an inspirometer for just a few dollars on, on Amazon, and you can measure how much air you take in each time. And you will see that go up in milliliters, the amount of air you're taking in. But again, it's not just how much air you take in, but how you use it and how relaxed you can be while you're using it. And performing on your instrument while you're as relaxed as possible, that's a good thing.
Hi, my name is Kenneth Amos and I'm a tuba player. I'd like to share with you another breathing exercise that has to do with breathing quickly. There are many reasons why we have to breathe quickly. Sometimes we're just given so many notes that we have to learn how to breathe quickly in between the notes if we hope to play all of them and not lose the rhythm. Sometimes we want to make broad phrases, phrases where we have to breathe within the phrase, but if we take too long to breathe, we'll lose the intensity of the line, so we have to breathe very fast. And sometimes we want to just sound very loud. Well, there are other ways to sound loud without having to raise the decibel through our instrument. Sometimes we can just play the note a little bit longer, and since there's a longer note for the audience to hear, they perceive that as being louder. And it often leads to a much richer sound because we're not overblowing our instrument. The exercise is simple. You pick a note that's easy to play, you pick a relatively slow tempo, and you play 16th notes, breathing in between 16th notes. It sounds something like this. Now you'll notice I was breathing after the fourth sixteenth of the beat. But we need to be flexible. Sometimes we run out of air a bit earlier and we need to breathe before a different note. Sometimes the phrasing demands that we breathe before a different note. So we'll try it again and I'll breathe after the third sixteenth of the beat. Try it again and we'll breathe after the second sixteenth of the beat. And you guessed it, we'll try it one more time and we'll breathe after the first sixteenth of the beat. When you can play a group of 16th notes and breathe in between them without disrupting the rhythm or leaving out notes, when you can play phrases and breathe quickly without disrupting the intensity of the line, and when you can play long notes and breathe so quickly that it sounds like you're playing one note right up to the next note so that it is perceived as being louder, those are all good things.